Hey guys, username Baskid here, and uh, I've been tagged. Right, Pat Rat? Okay, actually, I haven't been tagged. I just did the thing that. Um, the, 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 the Monty said. Big old tag thing. Anyways, um. Uh, basically, it was this thing she did a video, video about, and I'm just gonna do my part and do my tag thing. And, yeah, basically, before I uh, start with this, I just want to say, um, to you guys that I'm still working on my stuff. Uh, I say, uh, the thing I'm working on right now is me logo the logo because I'm thinking about changing up my logo for uh my whole entire YouTube page uh cause the old one is just uh not really I don't think it's really working out that well but I'm just thinking about changing that up um anyways uh I just want to also give out a shout out to uh some of my friends um Death Bear, Lover of HBF, uh, uh, I'm thinking, Krylis, Krylis, I think, I'm, I, ah, Krylis, um, um, blah, blah, blah. I love all my child, 0071, um, crap, 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 uh, I don't, I can't remember his name, uh, Max, Max, I'm just going to put the name right here because I can't remember it right now. But uh, I think it's like Max18 or 888 or something like that. Anyways, uh, let's just get started with the uh, thingamajig here. Um, it turns out that first question on the list is, what is your favorite Pokemon type? Uh, for me... It has to be normal type. Normal normal Pokemon, um, I'll admit, uh, normal Pokemon, they can't get hit by ghost type, and their only weakness is fighting moves. So, that makes enemies like Snorlax, uh, Porygon Z, if you guys know about that one, um, makes them really, really difficult to take out, because uh, their only weakness is fighting moves. And if you put their... If you put their defense up, that's just going to make it ten times harder to kill the goddamn Pokemon. So, I would have to go with normal type overall. Plus, ghosts can't hurt it. And, uh, I, I'll have to say probably my second, my second favorite would have to been ghost type. Because it's kind of like the opposite effect. Normal and fighting can't really hurt ghosts. And ghosts can't hurt normal. So, good. Whatever. Anyways... Question number two, da, da, da. what is your favorite region? Um, hmm. When it comes to regions, I would have to probably say, I'm sorry, I have to go with uh, Tamashi on this one. Hoenn region is my favorite. Um, I, I would, I, I would make like, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, the Kanto region, I would totally make that second place. I will make Kanto second place because when you think about it, um, you get to see the Kanto region a lot more than any of the other regions due to the fact that the Kanto is in freaking Pokemon Gold, Heart Gold, Silver, whatever. You you get to see it. You get to see Kanto when it's first introduced, and then when it's starting to like die down a bit, but. And the Hoenn region, it's like, it's more lively, it's more, like, more creative. Um, I have to admit that, uh, I'll really have to admit that, um, a Pokemon, like, Ruby and Sapphire at one place that turned out to be, like, this big mall place, I literally thought it was, like, some weird, strange city, because when I was a kid, I was playing Pokemon Ruby, I was like, hmm, I don't know what type of city this is, but... When you get, like, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, it's like, oh, it's this big old place. Big old, I guess, big old one place just even smashed them together. Uh, big old mall. I'm like, that's a mall? Um, I forgot the name of the city. But I also like it because there's a beach there. There's, like, 
Machu say, oh, there's no snow there, but there are ashes falling from the volcano, which I'm like, that's extremely dangerous. But whatever, it's a kid's game. Anyways, um, let's just get to question number three. Uh, which Pokemon game do you own? Wait, which Pokemon game do I own? Like, um, do you mean like all together? I, I think they mean all together. Uh, hold up a second. Let's see. Basically, when it comes to owning Pokemon games, I only have Pokemon uh, Omega Ruby, uh, Pokemon X. Um, I have some side Pokemon games on here. Um, I have Battle Troze, if you guys can see that. Uh, I got the Pokemon Pokedex 3D. I got all the Pokemon in there, uh, thanks to some friends at a, a, a Pokemon event that helped me get the, get all of them, but I, I didn't purchase the Pokemon 3D full thing going on there, I didn't do that, but, uh, I just got all of them, uh, still got the Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire demo, um, let's see, Pokemon Dream Radar, which is a very, very underlooked game, uh, let's see, just a whole bunch of mostly download stuff like PokeBank, um, Poke Transfer, and stuff like that. Uh, nom, 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 nom. And um, when it comes to old games, I still got Pokemon Yellow, but I really can't. I put it up somewhere. It's probably in one of my boxes. Uh. So I really don't know where it is right now. But I have Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon X, Pokemon Z. Uh, but about Pokemon White, I still have White too, but I don't have Pokemon White. Uh, I don't have Pokemon um, Diamond and uh, Pokemon Platinum. Um, those games, on the other hand, uh, Pokemon Diamond, White, and platinum were all uh, stolen. Plus, my Pokemon Sapphire was stolen too. So I kind of I, I was a bit upset about that. I was really upset about that. Anyways, let's just get to the next question. Um, uh, do you watch the? Oh wait, wait. <clears throat> sorry about that. <laughs> question number four. And the games. Which gender do you normally play as? I always play as a boy, but I notice lots of guys that play Pokemon always choose the girl. And I'm like, oh. Oh, okay. But hey, that's, that's what they like to do, but I, I don't really play with the girl. It's like, it's, I don't know, it's, it's weird, like, playing as the girl character. And, I mean, it feels like... I don't know, it's like you're playing as a girl character, and it's like, okay, well, I guess guys, guys that do it, they're just like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to play as a girl character, but I really don't, eh, I really don't do that, I just play as a guy character. Uh, anyways, do you watch the Pokemon anime? Um, it depends, it, it's like, I don't really watch, like, I don't really watch it episode, episode, like, every Saturday, like, I mean, Cartoon Network or wherever you guys live at is probably on a different station. Um, I don't really uh, watch it um, like all the time, but I watch it sometimes. Um, I watched uh, like sometimes on YouTube. I'll go back watch a few old episodes here and there, um, and I would say when I started to watch. The Pokemon anime or whatever. Uh, I was really young. I, I think it was way back Kids WB stuff. Um, so yeah, back Kids WB. Oh boy, that's that was like some really nostalgia stuff. It was like, I, I'm not really sure what I got first. Uh, or what I think I got, you know, what came first. But I got, I, I think I got... Well, I think I watched the anime first, then got the video game for Pokemon, because I heard it was the big stuff, the crazy, crazy stuff. And I was like, oh, Pokemon. And um, I think...
think I stopped watching it, like, somewhere. You guys aren't going to believe this, but, like, somewhere around the Horn region, or Gen 2, when the first season of Pokemon was ending, that's when I stopped watching Pokemon for a minute. Because, like, I still have my old games, and I couldn't really buy Pokemon, like, gold and silver. Or, actually, you know, I didn't really have much no money or anything like that because I'm a little kid. I was like, oh, I can't get that. And it made me feel, it made me really feel left out. And I was like, ah, oh. all I got is Pokemon Blue and Yellow and Red. And I'm like, ah, oh, I, I can't get Pokemon Gold or Silver. My brother had uh, Crystal, though, and I was like, god dang, how'd you get that? But uh, he had that, and I was so jelly. Um, but then, I guess, a few years passed, and then uh, I seen the Pokemon... Uh, oh, jeez. I'm not even going to mention that terrifyingly terrible opening. Um, you guys remember uh, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, right? Um, the beautiful opening. Oh boy, um, let me just uh, sing a little bit of it for you guys. Um, it goes like this: Pokemon, Pokemon, the challengers battle for rival, fights for survival. Ah, oh, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. I'm like, okay, wait, what's going on here? What what just happened? Like, to be honest, I loved, I I kind of loved the Gen three music. Um, but when it hit Gen four, I'm like, what's going on here? What's happening? What happened to Pokemon? And I guess that's kind of when it actually went down downhill. But people keep saying Gen 3 is where it went downhill. But anyways, yeah, I've seen some old Pokemon stuff. Pokemon, what's this called? i seen Pokemon Black and White. Uh, I've seen a few episodes of that. I've seen a few episodes of Pokemon X and Y. Um... Not really much of Pokemon X and Y as I've seen of uh, the older Pokemon shows, but yeah, I, I kind of watch, kind of watch the anime. Uh, okay, that was a bit of a long one. <laughs> how many, uh, how many scenes in the Pokédex of your latest game? Uh, oh boy. Um, this is where my Pokemon Ruby Omega Ruby is in, and. Uh, I tried to get the game as fast as I could, and I realized, oh, I have some, I got some Wii points in my DS. I guess I could just get the game that way. Oh, boy, let me just tell you guys one thing about this. Um, never download a game on the eShop, especially if it's a Pokemon game. Because, one, like, I had a few problems with this. Like, sometimes my game would lag, or whatever the heck, and I'm like, oh boy, my game is, like, like it, it was lagging and doing all this crazy stuff, and sometimes it would just turn off, like, well, not really turn off, but it'll stop. Um, I've seen a lot more Pokemon in, uh, uh, Wichmandiki, in X and Y. I really haven't been doing much on Pokemon Omega Ruby. That's pretty cool. And, uh, let's see, number called 38. And I only seen 161. That's how many Pokemon I have in there, if you guys can see that. Oh boy. So, yep. And let's see, uh, like Pokemon do I even like Pokemon do you not see this channel this, do you not see the cat rat the cat rat right here do you not see this Pikachu Pikachu right here look at that Pikachu that's a big thing but anyways yeah I, I, I actually really really like Pokemon um, so, of course I like Pokemon, like, like, why wouldn't I like Pokemon? I mean, I'll admit sometimes I get, like, I really get bored, like, sometimes I'll you know, get out of Pokemon for a minute, then go back into it, then I'm like, oh, Pokemon, yeah, okay, 
make a new game, I'll probably play it, but I don't really play spin-offs that much. Um, in, unless they're, uh, like, I don't know, if there's, like, a Mystery Dungeon, I like Mystery Dungeon, I'll probably play it. Uh, anyways, next question. Do you collect the trading cards? Yes, yes I do. But they're all, like, in a box somewhere. I don't know where they are. I have, if you guys looked up my channel, you'll see, well, if you look really deep in my channel, you'd find the trading card videos I used to do, but I don't do them anymore because the Pokemon cards are pretty goddamn expensive. Um, so yeah, trading cards, they're, they're pretty, uh, yeah, they're pretty just, uh, they're, they're all right. Um, I recommend not really blowing all your money on trading cards because those things are really expensive and uh, stuff. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I collect the cards, so yep. Uh, next question. If you have the trading cards, do you play the game or just collect? Um, I kind of like don't really I can't really play the trading cards because I don't really have anyone to play it with so I just kind of collect them um so yeah I guess I just collect them do you draw Pokemon have you not seen my deviant art I draw tons and tons of Pokemon stuff actually I did the the Gengar picture and that one took a minute to do. It uh, took a minute. Actually, I'm going to show you guys some of the Pokemon pictures I've drawn right now. <laughs> back to the list okay what is your favorite pokemon huh i don't know what is my favorite pokemon i wish someone would tell me oh i don't know i don't know who it is oh someone please what is your favorite legendary um Hmm. Or wait. That's the next question. What is your second favorite legendary? Oh, second favorite Pokemon. Ah, your second favorite. Okay, okay. Uh, I I probably have to go with Pikachu on this one. Pikachu, cause Pikachu was like one of my favorite Pokemon, and uh, he still is one of my favorite Pokemon. Um. I got I, if I had to go to third, I'd probably have to say Jigglypuff because Jigglypuff is pretty awesome on Smash Bros. I know some people are gonna be like, "Oh, I hate Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff sucks." I'm gonna be like, "Okay." But uh, anyways, uh, next question: What is your favorite legendary Pokemon? I don't even think I have a favorite legendary Pokemon. Um, hmm. Uh. That's a really tough one. I don't really. It's just I don't really play with legendary Pokemon. Uh, legendary Pokemon aren't really uh, Pokemon I would uh, consider uh, like actually uh, competitive Pokemon. It, it, it's 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 kind of weird. It's like anything. It's like anything that's legendary or like super extremely rare. Well, actually, rare Pokemon will work. But, you know, extremely legendary, or I, I can deal with second legendary, second-ish le legendary Pokemon that are actually, you know, allowed to battle in tournaments and stuff like that. But when you come at me with, like, a Mewtwo, Mega, or Primal Groudon, and Aqua, freaking, uh, Kyogre, or whatever the heck, then I'm like, dude, no, no. I, I, it, it just makes me instantly dislike them. Um, it, it's kind of weird. Uh, how I do the legendary Pokemon because uh, I really don't it, it's like it, it's kind of like the same thing for me and Greninja I don't like overused Pokemon um, I, 
it's weird. I really don't like overused Pokemon. Um, because why would I, why do I like something that a whole bunch of other people already like? It, it, it's, it's just like, no, I, I, I can't, I can't do it. I'm not trying to be like, oh, I don't, I don't like any of the stuff. I don't like Greninja or anything like that. I, I, I might not really play with Greninja. I might not really do the things with Greninja or whatever, but Greninja's just, I mean, he's an alright Pokemon, I just don't play with him. I mean, it's like, you can, I'm not saying, I'm not hating on anybody that likes Greninja. It's just the thing I personally have to do. But anyways, I am not even talking about my question. Uh, what is your favorite legendary? Uh, I have to go with Mewtwo, because I have one video. Um, that Mewtwo makes a comeback. Um, that's when I was playing around on uh the the Pokemon X and Y thing for three on three battle. Um I I have probably go up Mewtwo. Just regular Mewtwo though. Never use Pokemon don't you just never use Mewtwo Y or Mewtwo X. Mewtwo Y might be fast, but if he gets slapped or touched, he's dead. Mewtwo X, he can get hurt by psychic moves. And fairy type destroys him. That's like no, just just don't don't use X or Y Mewtwo's. But if you want to do that, have fun. I I prefer using regular Mewtwo because using Mewtwo X or Mewtwo Y will get you murdered, or will destroy in the whole entire game. Anyways, next question. Um, what is your oh second oh my gosh second favorite legendary. You guys are making this hard for me. Uh, <laughs> you guys are really making this hard. Um, uh, I wouldn't pick Mew. Mew is extremely overused. Uh, mm, uh, I, I'm really thinking about this. I don't play with legendaries. Uh... I really, I'm, I'm not really sure uh, what my second legendary Pokemon would be. I would probably have to go with the um, Genesect, I guess. Genesect, even though I personally hate that Pokemon, like, I don't, like, hate him, hate him. He's just, like, annoying to get by. He's, like, one of those annoying Pokemon to get by sometimes. But I guess Genesect is a pretty good Pokemon to use in battle. Um, but yeah, I, I have to say Genesect is second. Um, because he's a bug and steel type, and people have been like, oh, isn't that a. That looks like a one Pokemon, but he's all covered in steel or whatever. But, anyways, uh, that's my favorite, second favorite legendary. Anyways. Next question, do you know what number, uh, number 493 is, no, that's Arceus, 493 is Arceus, mm, that should be Arceus, man, I was just playing with that, too. I accidentally just hit, I know that, that has to be Arceus, cause, like, I, I, I know what happened in the, Gen 4 with the whole legendaries and stuff. Um, never really told anybody this, but like in Gen 4, I had uh, I actually had all the Pokemon in that game, and uh, I think that Arceus has to be it. That has to be Arceus. Um, would you rather have a Meowth or Growlithe? Meowth all the way because I am I'm actually I'm actually uh. I root for the underdog a lot, so I have to go with Meowth. Meowth, that's right. Okay, that's a terrible impression, but who cares? Uh, do any of your relatives play Pokemon? Yes, my brother plays Pokemon. My other brother plays Pokemon. I think that's probably it.
Well, actually, if you think about it, Smash Bros. might be... It might be, I guess. Maybe. If they play with Pikachu and Smash Bros. Is that considered as Pokemon? Jigglypuff. Anyways, um, number, I don't know what number that is. How often do you think about Pokemon? Um, not really often. Uh, sometimes, I guess. Right now, I'm just thinking about the Five Nights at Freddy's thing. Uh, I don't, like, if you're talking about just thinking about Pokemon in general, I guess. Not really that often. Um, I, I'm still thinking about the top five list I'm still making and all that fun stuff. Uh, so I guess not very often, but eh, I don't really know. Okay, anyways, um, do you hide the fact that you like Pokemon from the real life? Oh, from your real life friends, people. Do I hide that fact? Actually, uh, no, I, I, I don't. I don't really hide that fact. I don't hide that fact from real life friends. I, I guess, like, if I'm out in the open, I won't really tell, um, some other people that I like Pokemon or anything like that. But if it comes to just, like, real life friends, if I'm just talking to. If I'm just talking to, like, anybody, I'm not going to say, Oh, hey, hi there, I like Pokemon. No, I, I won't be like that. Um, just like how, you know, just like how everyone else is. They don't just come up to you saying, Hi, I'm a brony. Hi, I, I like Dragon Ball Z. Hi, I like, I like, uh, I don't know. Um, uh, anyways, uh... I, I really don't hide that. I, I really don't hide that from friends at all. Okay. Anyways, um, what pets do you have that resemble Pokemon? I don't know. I have that. I have the. Yeah, I mean, I have the puppy, the dog. That resembles anything. It's just just a dog. Maybe I've seen it before. Probably. <clears throat> okay. Anyways, let's go to the next question. Um. Okay. What pets do you? Okay. Blah, blah, blah. What Pokemon do you hate the most? Oh, actually, I don't really hate any Pokemon. Um. Basically, for me, uh, it, it, it's like, you really can't hate a Pokemon, uh, you can only, you know, actually, you, you really can't hate, hate a Pokemon, you just, like, you just have this sort of thing saying, uh, this Pokemon must, might be the worst, or, you know, this Pokemon might be the most terriblest Pokemon, but, uh, Wait, what am I trying to say? I mean, ugh, I didn't say you can't hate a Pokemon. You can hate, you can hate a Pokemon, but it doesn't really make it the worst Pokemon. Um, because I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore. Uh, anyways, the Pokemon I hate the most. I don't hate any Pokemon. Um, I would have to say, uh, least favorite would have to be. I don't know. Uh, I don't really have least favorite Pokemon. Um, it's just favorite Pokemon and then like all the other Pokemon. It's, that's how it is for me. Favorite, then all the rest. There's nothing at the very bottom bottom saying, oh yeah, that one's garbage. Yeah, that's the garbage Pokemon. No one likes that one. No, I don't. I don't have anything like that. Basically, it's just favorite and everyone else. 
thing, and everyone else, I'd be like, hmm, that one from everyone else might be good. So I'd be like, hmm, I have to use this one, blah, blah, blah. And then that's pretty much it. I don't have to work. Anyways, uh, uh, which evolution do you like the best? Uh, Jolteon. Duh. Anyways, uh, what cast form form is the best? I don't even know. Ah. Uh, cast form is just it. I don't know. I probably um the sun, sun cast form. Probably I guess. I don't know. I don't really play with cast form that much um but i guess the sun would because you know you can use weather ball and like you use sunlight i think it's fire moves i guess i think it'd be a fire move i'm not really sure um anyways next question which deoxys form is the best i don't know um i I would actually, I, I was about to say, um, attack would be the best, but if you get tap, just like Mewtwo Y, that's it, um, and I would, I would have actually said probably defensive, but no, because if you get, like, you don't have any attack at all, so... What's the point of being a big brick wall in a Pokemon battle and you can't hurt anybody? Uh, so... Uh, and then I was actually thinking about speed, but... Speed is just... Oh, I can attack first, and attack form already has a good amount of speed to it already. So, why use a speed one? But, whatever. I I would have to say... Probably the um, normal one. I would go with normal Deoxys because it's all around and you get it's not really one of everything, well, one of a specific status of type or whatever. But hey, you get a, a good Deoxys that knows how to battle and stuff. Anyways, um, I'm almost done with this, 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 um, uh, Arcuno, Zapdos, or Moltres? Uh, it's kind of a tie, um, between Zapdos and Articuno, because Articuno looks pretty cool. <laughs> well, that's hilarious if you think about it. Cool, Articuno. Um, Zapdos. I I always liked Zapdos as a kid because it was the only. Because if you actually played the game, it was the only bird that actually kind of looked like itself, kinda. Throughout all the terrifyingly terrible Pokemon art in the first gen games, people were like, oh, Zapdos is the only one that looks kinda like he does in the anime, just a little bit. And you're like, oh, oh that's cool. Okay, um, anyways, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty much tied between Articuno and Zapdos. Moltres is pretty cool as well, but it's just, like, a fire chicken. It's a chicken. Fire chicken. Anyways, uh, Lugia or Ho-Oh, I would have to go with Lugia all the way, because Lugia is freaking awesome. Um, my friend Joey, he knows who he is. And, uh, he, um, I think I was battling him once, and this dude used freaking, okay, I have a Jolteon. I'm hitting this dude with every thunder attack I had. Like, every electric move, I hit him with thunderbolt. I hit him with freaking thunder. I hit him with, uh, what do you, what do you call it? Um, actually, pin missile is the last resort move for any psychic type but that i didn't use that on him i i i hit him with like two thunders or whatever and my freaking uh my jolteon i maxed him out on speed 
and I put his attack all the way up to as a secondary thing and um, uh, I don't know how but Joey somehow like tanked the thunder how do you tank thunder and you are a freaking flying like Lugia has so much special attack and so much god dang oh boy so much god dang defense I'm like I I, 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 don't, I don't think he can beat this stupid thing and uh, he pretty much destroyed my uh, my uh, um, my agility on and I was like god dang it so this is one of another reasons why I really don't like Capital Legendaries uh, in tournaments or anything like that because it just flops everything um, but anyways uh, yeah Lugia uh, last question which two people will you tag? Well, okay, actually, I'm gonna stop singing that. Um, I'm not gonna tag everybody. I'm tagging you. I'm tagging him. I'm tagging the person sitting next to you. Actually, no, I'm not tagging you guys. Actually, if you want to be tagged, I'll, you guys can be tagged. Like, you just tag. Uh, anyways, um, um, if there's anyone else I want to tag, I, I would say, uh, Death Bear, or King of Koi Fish, or I think that's his new YouTube name. Uh, I, I'll tag Death Bear, uh, Lover of HTF. Um, if you want to see, like, Death Bear, he makes some pretty awesome animation. Um, and he has like AMV videos. You could go check him out. And uh, Lover of HTF, he makes like amazing art and stuff like that. Uh, and there's someone else I wanted to tag to. Um, I love all my child. Um, she makes awesome animation and uh, stuff like that. And he did this uh, hilarious Foxy animation out. It was pretty cool. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys want to do this, here, I'm just gonna like you just look at the description look at the description and see all the questions I answered and be like oh that's pretty cool and then if you want to do one then have fun knock yourself out don't really hurt yourself though but yeah you can do it so uh, pretty much yeah, that's, uh pretty much it and um, I'm gonna just say one last thing before I sign out uh, still working on the logo, still working on, actually I'm thinking about getting a new icon because I had the same Pat Red icon for a minute now and I like to think, uh, his name's Tread, Tread, Trademark, uh, crap, I don't, oh, he's a really good friend, he, he's pretty cool, uh, Trademark, uh, I'm just gonna put his name right there, um, he, he's pretty good, he makes, uh, YouTube poop videos, but they're really good. Um, and, uh, he made that, uh, um, icon for me, but I'm thinking about, uh, changing it, and, um, I really want to thank him for, uh, making that amazing icon for me, uh, it really, uh, helped out a lot, um, past, like, you know, what was I at for, like, a year? I for, yeah, pretty much a year, um, that, that was really nice of him to do that, um, and, uh, yeah, basically, Thank you all for watching my video. Uh, I'll be putting out more stuff later. And uh, yeah, that is username last kid signing out, guys. See you all next time. Bye.